Hello everyone and welcome back to ECS 30. In this video we're going to be talking about the CSIF. A word of warning to those of you who might be watching this video series but aren't a part of UC Davis, this video may not be very helpful to you and you might want to consider skipping on to the next one. During this video we're going to be talking about what the CSIF is, how to connect to it remotely, and how to transfer files between the CSIF and your computer. The CSIF is the Computer Science Instructional Facility here at UC Davis. It consists of about 60 computers in three rooms in the basement of Kemper. These are rooms 67, 71, and 75. And if you need help or are having trouble logging in, you can contact support in room 47. When you go to log into these computers, the login info is the same as your Kerberos info. And a neat thing about these computers is that they're on a network file system. So any work you do on one computer is going to show up on another and it's going to be accessible across all of them. So for example, if you start and log on to PC10 and do some of your work there, write a little bit of your program, go ahead and save that file then quit, you can log on to any of the other computers and it'll have the exact same information. For example, if you get onto PC20, you'll find everything you did on 10 is there. And any work you do on 20 is going to show up on all of the other computers. It's a really nice choice if you don't feel like installing any of the programs that we talked about in the last video. And it's also a great place just to meet other students to talk about homework problems or the topics that you're working on in class. And these computers can also be accessed remotely if you're unable to go to the CSAF or just don't feel like going there. To be able to remotely access the CSIF computers um, through Windows, you're going to need to download and install MOBA Xterm. You can find it at this website here. The download page looks like this, and I would recommend installing the installer edition. After you go ahead and download it, you're going to end up with a zip file here, which you are going to need to unpackage. So you would go to extract all, choose a location to extract it. Um, mine would be in the downloads folder. Then go ahead and hit extract. I've already done this, so I have that folder over here. Then go ahead and run the .msi MOBA installer. It's the guy that looks like the little picture with the CD next to it. And this will go ahead and get MOBA Xterm installed on your computer. When you go ahead and open it, MOBA Xterm is gonna look like this. And we're going to want to create a new session. So click on session. And we want to do an SSH session. And now we need to say who we want to connect to and who we want to connect to as. So we need to specify the name of one of our computers. The names of the computers in the CSIF are PC and then some number that's between 1 and 60. So for example, we're going to try to connect to PC 14. If you want to be able to see what computers are available right now, you can go to this website up here and you can see the current status of all the computers, which ones are up, which ones are down and what's going on with them. So we're gonna to connect to PC 14 over here, like we said, and the full name of PC 14, if you're outside of campus is PC 14.cs.ucdavis.edu. And then we're going to want to specify our username and our username is going to be the same thing as our Kerberos name. After you do that, you're gonna be brought to a screen that looks like this, and it's gonna ask you for your password. As you're typing your password, it's gonna look like nothing's gonna showing up, but it is, in fact, showing up on the screen and it's being entered. And I entered mine wrong, so let's try again. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna save your password. I probably would, because then you don't have to enter it again in the future. And now we're connected over to the CSIF computers. And you can do whatever you want. When you're done running on the CSIF, you can type exit to quit the program or also hit the little exit button over here. So I'm gonna close my session. Now, if I ever wanna get back into the session that I've already established, I don't have to go through the session button. You can see I have saved sessions over here. So if I wanna log back into PC 14, just double click on it and I'm logged back in, and it's going to save me all that typing. Now, for those of you that are on Mac, we're going to have to go through the terminal in order to connect to uh, the computers that are there. You're going to want to open up the terminal, like we talked about in the last video, and the command you're going to want to run is ssh, your Kerberos username, at 
PC some number. Again, that number is going to be between 1 and 60. .cs.ucdavis.edu. I'm going to go ahead and run this command over here inside of the MOBA X term, but it'll look a little bit different on Mac, but it's doing the exact same thing. So SSH, I'm MF Butner at pc14.cs.ucdavis.edu. Hit enter, type yes to accept the key, and then again type your password, which is your Kerberos password. And we're logged in, you're good to go, and you're ready to access the computers. When you're done uh, working on the CSF computers, again, type exit, and you will close your connection. One thing to know is if you happen to leave these connections open too long, but you're not using them, they will close automatically, so you may need to re-log in again if you happen to leave your session idle for too long. The next thing that we're going to talk about is how to transfer files between the two computers. Um, with MOBA Xterm, it's really easy here inside Windows. You can see listed over here on the left-hand side of my screen, you can see all my files that are over on the remote computer. And if I wanted to be able to download any of these to my local machine, the machine I have right in front of me, I'd right-click on it and then say download. And then it's going to show up over here on my machine. And I can choose where do I want to save it. It's just like downloading anything else you've ever done. And if you want to be able to upload, we would go over here, click upload. It's going to show up in this current folder, which is this folder right here. If I wanted it to show up in a different one, I might go to say documents and click upload. Then go ahead and find some file and uh, open it, upload it. And now that file is over there on the CSF computers. This is useful if you're doing a little bit of work on your computer and want to move it over there. If we're on a Mac, we're going to need to download one other program in order to transfer our files easily. And that program we're going to be using is called CyberDuck. It's over here at this link. Looks like this cute little rubber ducky. Go ahead and download CyberDuck for Mac and get it installed. And then Let's connect here. When you get in here, you're going to want to create your connection. So you would click on open connection. We were going to want to choose up here SFTP. Then again, we need to say who we want to connect to. So this time I'm connecting to PC20. So you do PC20.cs.ucdavis.edu. The name can be any of the PC. So PC and then some number between 1 and 60. Then you will enter your username and your password, hit connect. You want to allow this unknown fingerprint, and now you're connected. If you want to download a file, right click, download. And if you want to upload, click on upload. That's it for this video. So now you know how to work with the computers on the CSF, how to transfer files in between them. And in future videos, we'll talk about more commands that you can run on these computers that are going to prove very helpful in doing your programming. And I will see you guys all next time.